The very first on our list is the recently released Paranoid Android ROM which is one of the best AOSP based ROM out there. Aesthetically, the ROM looks and feels almost like the pure stock ROM and the UI is amazing just like you're using a Pixel device as it borrows the same launcher from Pixel devices. I used this ROM since the day it released and so far so good. The ROM feels pretty smooth with no lag as of now and I pretty much enjoyed the experience. It's fast and responsive as you would expect from a stable ROM. The ROM also has some pretty awesome wallpaper arts that is done by Hampus Olsen, the same guy who had also done wallpaper arts for the OnePlus devices. Talking about the battery performance which is also quite good but I think it could have been better because there are ROMs available with much better battery life. I was getting more than 6 hours of screen on time on my OnePlus 3D with a moderate usage which is at least better than Oxygen OS. Talking about the features, it has to offer some really cool features like the pie control which is sort of hidden navigation button, immersive mode which basically allows you to hide the status bar and navigation bar to maximize the screen space. Next up we have the color engine through which you can change the overall look and color scheme of the UI by changing the primary and ascent colors. Moving towards the camera department, the stock camera app on this ROM is just fantastic. When you open the app, it looks quite minimal. At the top, you get lots of different modes like HDR, Auto HDR, Portrait, Landscape and many more. Additionally, you can also apply live filters on the go and you also have an inbuilt beauty mode. Now, if we talk about the list of supported devices, then I think it's quite limited, but it supports devices from some major OEM like Google's Nexus and Pixel lineup, all OnePlus devices and some major Sony devices. The second one on the list is the so-called Lineage OS. As we all know that Cyanogen mode is no more. Say hello to its successor which is called the Lineage OS or Lineage OS, whatever you would like to call it. Lineage picks up where CM left off with version 14.1 which is based on Android Nougat 7.1. The features are mostly the same except now apps do not have root access. Other changes include the name, logo and unfortunately supported device list which is quite limited but not that much short too. It supports most of the current devices from major OEMs like Samsung, Google, HTC, OnePlus, Xiaomi and many more. Everyone loves to have a customized version of Android experience and Lineage OS ROM is one of the best options to customize your Android device from many aspects. Talking about visual customization, you can change the theme, adjust how the notification bar looks, rearrange the notification shade and do a lot of things. One problem with OEM based ROMs is the slower update cycle. It takes more than a few months to get the Android update even after official rollout. With Lineage OS, however, you don't face this issue. When compared to other ROMs, it has a quicker update cycle even if an official ROM is not available, you can get some unofficial port. In other words, it offers plenty of methods to stay up to date with the latest OS. Everyone loves to have better battery life for their devices. With OEM ROMs, however, it is still a distant dream. Even as manufacturer packs bigger batteries with the devices, they cannot focus on the software side of it. Due to several reasons, Lineage OS ROM offers a better level of battery life in almost all devices. The main reason is that this ROM does not come with any bloatwares. There is no background running apps or unnecessary services. It means that battery will be used only when it is required. The community support from Lineage OS is something amazing. You can find answers for almost all the doubts you have, let that be some tweaks or customization options. On the top of all these, Lineage OS promises better performance. You can get the best out of your existing hardware especially when compared to OEM based ROMs you have been using. The next one on the list is called the Resurrection Remix ROM which is basically a remix of the best features found in the AOKP, Lineage and Paranoid Android ROMs, meaning you will get the best of all. Starting with the UI, on the first boot, you will get the option to choose between two different launchers. The first one is the old school TurboChat launcher and the other one is, as you might have already guessed, the Pixel launcher which is nowadays a default launcher in most of the custom ROMs and this one is directly ported from the upcoming Android O. The home screen is quite stockish as well as the rest of the UI. In my usage of one week, I didn't face any lag while switching between the apps and the overall experience is just buttery smooth. Overall, in terms of UI, there is nothing really eye-catching or unique about Resurrection Remix until you entered the configuration menu in settings. If you know your way around, I can be sure you would have no trouble changing the UI to look the way you want. There are numerous settings here for you to tinker with and if this is your first time using a feature pack custom ROM like Resurrection Remix, you might be overwhelmed at just how much you can change. If you love customization, this configuration menu is what heaven would be like. From what happened when you double tap your home button to letting any text be displayed in your Android status bar, there is next to nothing you cannot change. Even the little things you never thought you would want to play around with like the animation when you toggle a quick setting can be changed and you will love it. So in short you can customize the status bar, notification panel, recent menu, quick setting, lock screen, gestures, navigation key, animations, interface and some miscellaneous ones. 
Whoa, that's not short man, not at all. I can make a whole 10 minute video in explaining just the features and customization that this ROM has to offer. Moving forward to its performance and battery life, the performance of Resurrection Remix is actually far better than the stock MIUI ROM and that's why now I am using this ROM as my daily driver due to its stability. The quicker animations of this ROM make things look better as compared to a stock MIUI ROM and personally I don't like these highly skinned Android version like MIUI as they consume much more RAM than the stock one and that's the reason why Resurrection Remix ROM feel very light and snappy. Everything on this ROM is working like a charm, like the fingerprint scanner, camera and for those who are wondering that Volti is working or not, then yes, it's working just fine. Talking about its battery life, which I think is insane. As before installing this ROM, I was using the stock MIUI 8.2 ROM, which has a very good battery life. But after using this ROM, I can clearly say that this ROM has far better battery backup than the stock ROM. In my day-to-day -day usage, which include couple hours of gaming, zipping between different social media apps and normally taking some calls, I was easily getting more than 7 hours of a screen on time which is quite enough to get me running throughout a day and still about 30% of juice is left. So all in all, the ROM is pretty stable to use this as your daily driver and I didn't encounter any bug or random reboots in my testing period. There is no doubt that the Resurrection Remix is one of the best custom ROM available and the best thing that I liked about this ROM is the large community and the updates are very constant. So if you are looking for a ROM that offers tons of customization options and it still gives you a stock experience then I will highly suggest you to install this ROM and you won't regret. The last one on the list is called the Cypher OS and I'm pretty sure that you may never heard of this ROM. Cypher OS is basically a ROM that will give you the closest stock experience like Pixel devices as it offers the same Pixel launcher and the new animated navigation buttons. Let's start with the performance. Now I have tested the Cypher OS for about 3 weeks and the OS feels quite stable with my daily day to day usage. It is running on the latest version of Android that is Nougat 7.1.2. The battery performance of Cypher OS is quite similar to the current stable Oxygen OS version. I am getting between 5-6 to six hours of screen on time with more red usage and I think it's quite decent to get my OnePlus 3T running throughout the day. Now let's talk about the features that this ROM has to offer. The first one in the list is called System. Here you can set your screenshot type add advanced option to power menu and you can also enable one handed mode which can trigger by just swiping left over the navigation buttons. You can also tweak different aspects of your status bar like add or remove icon, show notification counts and many more. Next up is the quick setting and this one is my favorite because here you will find the styles option by enabling which you can trigger battery saver mode with just one click. Additionally you can also enable Wi-Fi data and Bluetooth with just one click. This ROM is also fully compatible with Substratum theme engine which was previously known as Layers. It's just like Cyanogen mod theme engine using which you can change the overall look and feel of your device. There are lots of Substratum themes available on Play Store. So guys, these were the top 4 custom ROMs that you should definitely try on your supported devices. If you think that we should have added any other ROM on this list, then do let us know that in the comment section. And for more future videos like this, subscribe to Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.